All right. Um, so over the last um, couple of weeks, uh, month or so, I've had some messages asking me how Mandy was doing, and um, and I come to realize that I haven't done an update video in quite a while. So that's what we're going to do today. Is we're going to catch everybody up to speed on where we are, what's been going on, um, how Mandy's been doing, um, maybe some of, of a little bit of what how Sarah's been doing too. But today's more about update for Mandy and um, to catch you guys up to speed. So I think um, the last update that I remember putting out was um, we were going to vision therapy and trying to work on the double vision. Um, uh, I, I really don't remember to be honest. Uh, we found some we found some sense of normal and I've, uh, I've just like totally just walked away from doing updates and stuff because I'm um, just trying to, to live in the moment and live in the normal for a moment and uh, we just celebrated our 21st or 21 year anniversary with uh, a vacation that we were supposed to take last year so uh, so that's I know some of you seen that on Facebook um, so that was our uh, that was supposed to be our 20 year anniversary trip but as most of you know who know us well enough or who have known us uh, for long enough we spent our um, our anniversary uh, in ICU uh, so I didn't know if we were gonna see another year so um, so we took the opportunity, um, and went ahead and went through with the trip uh, this year, and it was great, and I'm glad we did it, and it won't be the last time we take that. We've, uh, just to give you some backstory, um, we've been, uh, been married for 20 years, obviously, and for 20 years, I think we've talked about taking that trip, and we've just never done it. Uh, and then when we finally got to where we could, uh, had the opportunity to go uh, financially, um, the, uh, you know the, the, the surgeries happen and the stroke happen and, and all the medical you know our last year our life fell apart so um, so we didn't make it uh, obviously but here we are and we're trying to pick up the pieces and and make the best of what it is so um, so I'll let Mandy uh, give you the update because I've given all the updates up until now and it's just better for you to hear it out of her mouth because I thank God and, and, and I'm super thankful um, that she has made it to where she is and we were not promised uh, another day much less another day of normal so for us to find the level that we have made it to here um, it's a it's a beautiful thing and I hope you guys just continue to pray with us and pray us along as as Mandy heals and finds that so um, what else anything else I missed out just catching I, up the... I don't think so um so go ahead Okay, so a little update. Um, vision therapy. I'm still in vision therapy. I'm doing some exercises at home. Um, I do still see double, uh, especially late in the afternoons. My eyes get kind of tired, and at that point, I, I do start to see double more so than at the beginning of the day. So, so anybody who doesn't know, who didn't follow us last year, let me just say this. Um, so, so Mandy and our daughter both had brain surgeries. Uh, Mandy had Mandy's was more critical, uh, like like need to do it right now kind of thing. And, and there was actually two. So we did one, went great, went amazing. And then <clears throat> one month later, um, our daughter had hers. And then one month after that, Mandy had her second, and it was the most intense. And after um, after that one, um, Mandy suffered a stroke in recovery. And from the stroke and the procedures that they've done on her um, is where we are now, uh, technically. And um, so she she suffered uh, double vision. Her eyes, her, her right eye, just kind of just gave up. And um, so she's been in therapy ever since. So to catch you up to speed, anybody who doesn't know all the story, uh, that's what she's talking about, double vision. She couldn't swallow. Um, she was on a feeding tube. Our dog is getting on her nerves at the moment. Come here. And uh, so that's the backstory. Let me put the dog up while she finishes. All that, but I didn't. <laughs> so I'm glad that he added that in for the backstory. But um, so anyway, I still am in vision therapy. Um, he pretty much said that I could come uh, do it in person or I could do the exercises at home. So I said I would try to do them at home. Um, so I am still doing them. Um, he did mention that with uh, my eyes being the way that they are, um, my right eye gets really tired. So as you can see now, I have on glasses. I didn't wear glasses before, so that's been kind of a new experience. 
um, and I do have a prism that's um, in one of these glasses. The prism uh, helps me from seeing double. So um, you can't see it, but the glasses that I have on now have the prism built into it to where I won't see double. So anyway, long story short, um, I am still working on the vision therapy. Um, as far as the swallowing goes that he mentioned before, um, the swallowing's doing a lot better. I am able to swallow. Uh, certain stuff I still don't like, um, sweet stuff, uh, chicken. Um, Your taste buds were wrecked. My taste buds were terrible, but now they're a lot better, so my taste buds are doing a lot better. Um, new problem would be the nerve in my left leg um, is still giving me fits. There's talk about putting in a nerve stimulator. Um, like an outpatient uh, procedure, I guess, or, or whatever. Um, I'm trying to go through physical therapy because I just really don't care about another procedure <laughs> to go into the operating room yet again. It's a it's an electrical device that actually connects into her spine or nervous system, mm -hmm. um, and they have to implant the. Uh, if you could imagine um, a tinge unit, if you know what that is, it's similar, but it's not the same thing at all, but it just, it's a, there's a device, a small device, and then there's some wires, basically, that they go in and insert into your, into her nervous system. Um, they'll do a trial basis, uh, possibly, if we do it, if we ever decide to do it, um, if we find that we have to, they do a trial where the device is actually just on the outside, and then if it works, then they do the procedure to actually install the, the whole device on the, under her skin, in her body, so really don't want to do that but it's looking more and more like we may have to do that um but anyway so that'll that'll be a story i guess for another day it's already october so we're trying to make the decision by the end of the year but um anyway uh just insurance, insurance deductibles all that fun stuff so there's that but the nerve pain is still debilitating and as many of you know me you know that I don't sit around I don't like to sit around I like to get up and do and stuff and some days it's hard to get up and do when the pain is so unbearable that you can't um, I am in physical therapy I have um, exercises to do at home for my leg pain that I am doing hoping that that'll work um, so there's that <laughs> um, as far as the checkups on the brain and everything go, um, MD Anderson, um, I, I have to go back periodically. No, hold on, hold on, let's back up. So we just recently had a scan and the <clears throat> there was a, so if you've been following us, following this whole story from the beginning, um, there was the hope that the second surgery would remove all tumors and that at her age, none more would grow because Historically and, and uh, medically, at, at her age, um, the disease kind of quits producing. So the, 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 uh, the hope and the idea, she has other tumors in her body, but they're not really causing problems. It's the brain that's caused the problem. So the hope was after the second surgery that that would remove all the tumors that were causing issues. And then after that, they would be gone. Well, we just had a checkup. Um, after that second surgery, like I, I mentioned earlier, if, you, if I didn't make it clear back and you were watching, it didn't go well. It didn't go as planned. Obviously, she suffered a stroke. It was, it was an awful event. That, that It was supposed to be like a seven hour, six or seven hour surgery. It was 12 hours is what it ended up being. The tumor wasn't supposed to be attached to the brain stem, but it was. So then they ended up cutting away as close as they could. Um, anyway, all that being said, we just recently had a scan and a checkup. And the remaining pieces, and the and the um, there's like a sac that grows around these tumors, the hemangioblastoma. Um, the the um, oh, what is it called? Cyst. The cyst, the cyst that's growing around it, um, which is the problem. It's not always the tumor; it's the cyst that grows, and that cyst just keeps growing and puts pressure and causes hydrocephalus, which is why she has her shunt and everything to to drain the fluids off. Um, but we just recently had a, a scan and. It come back. It was a, a minute amount, but it was actually smaller than the last scan that we had. So thank God for that, and that's a that's a praise. It's I'll take, I'll take it, <laughs> I'll take whatever win we can get. And we were we were really excited about that. I don't want to miss that point to to, no, to let yes. people know that that was a that was a plus. Is that uh, what was left? The the worry, right? Um, I don't know if you mentioned the, the the surgery beginning of the year where they put the 
the back. Her last surgery at the beginning of the year was to, to reconstruct the back of her skull and put all that back together. Um, so after that, it was kind of a worry because there's still tumors in there, you know, you know, them having to go back in and causing more nerve damage and anyway, all that. So latest scan was a, was a positive. The tumor was slightly smaller, just a bit by, I mean, microns, but it was smaller. Um, it was enough for him to say, you know, yay, we'll take it, you know. So, um, so yeah, we're, we're on a regular checkup schedule from yes. this point forward uh, as far as the tumors are concerned. Sorry. No, no, anything I may forget. I'm trying to think. I think that's all the, uh, um, the checkups and MD Anderson, like you said, we're on a regular schedule now. So just go back um, sometime next year. Um, I think it's like early next year that we'll go back for another checkup on the brain um, and I, I think that's it medical stuff you know personal yeah Who personal stuff um, so I'm gonna try to say this without getting all emotional and I told Wesley he may have to actually help me so so after um, I'll, I'll get you started so after I mentioned earlier for those of you who aren't aware or, or haven't really read between the lines um, I've said it a few times but if you didn't catch those moments um, there are there are things about her that will never be the same again and that's just a, a reality and a truth that we have to just live and, and, and accept you know we've asked God to heal and, and fix um, God does things in his own time uh, and he's you know he's sovereign to do that um, but he's also gracious so he's helped us in other ways put people like some of you into our lives that have that have really um, paved the way to make this um, just just to help uh, in whatever way. You know, some of you have done it in ways that you don't even realize, probably, and, and others have done it in really big ways. Um, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But um, but yeah, so uh, so there's life changes. Obviously, you know, um, we when when the doctor first told me um, after um, those of you who talked to me during that period in person. They didn't promise me anything. Um, <clears throat> matter of fact, they didn't even uh, technically call it a stroke for a, a little bit, and then they stopped calling it a stroke. But um, you know, they told me pretty immediately that um, that that they're you know it's unknown if it'll cause problems at the time. Way back then, right? And sitting in recovery because uh, you know she she passed on us, uh, and she tried to tried to die on us in the room, and then she the. The surgeon said that they struggled with her in the operating room as well. Um, basically, died on the table and they kept her kept her going. Um, but anyway, um, so they didn't promise us anything. Uh, they didn't know the extreme nature of it, and, and obviously with this nerve pain, and you know, and we don't know this nerve pain is actually could be aftermath of some of the procedures that they actually done some of the life saving procedures, and it's frustrating and it sucks. But at the same time, you know, the the alternative is what we're dealing with now versus, you know, them not bringing her back. So I'll take it. It's easy for me to say lip service. She has to deal with it more. Um, but there are things about Mandy that will never be the same again. Um, and I think that's what she's wanting to talk about. It is. Um, so, like you said, though, there are some things that will never be the same again. And I've known that for some time, but I guess it was when the surgeon told me um, to my face what I already knew. But just hearing it sometimes is a little hard. Um, but he did tell me that I would never do the kind of nursing that I previously did before. And um, it's really hard to hear. So those of you who may not know, who may not know us from before we moved to Texas, if you're following us and you're some of the folks we've met since we moved here and you hadn't heard it yet, she, Mandy used to be a nurse, um, um, 13, 15 years ish. Long time. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, um, you know, the majority of uh, us being together, uh, her going to college and nursing school, and um, there's actually a backstory of that too. Um, her first brain surgery from this disease was back in '05. Hurricane Katrina year, right? It was right before Katrina, actually, the year before Katrina. Um, whatever year that falls in, because I, I lose numbers. Uh, but. The day I was supposed to um, start nursing school, I was actually having emergency brain surgery. So, 
didn't become a nurse that year, but um, I was determined that I was going to go the next year. Um, so went through all that. But anyway, I would be devastated if I ever hurt anybody. Um, so I'm 100% okay with this because I know how my eyes are and um, everything, and, and I wouldn't want to do that. That would be very selfish of me, I feel like, if I was to, to do that. Um, of course, I can't do like any online nursing because again, my eyes give out and I can't uh, see very good. Um, so I can't really see a computer screen like I need to, which is why I've been off of the internet. Um, I know some of y'all were Facebook friends. Um, it's one reason why I've been kind of giving my eyes a break and it, it, it does help, it does help. Um, but I do notice when I revert back to the screen and revert back to the um, looking at the computer um, or looking at the TV for a long amount of time, it, it, it does add distraction and it does add a variable on my eyes that doesn't need to be there. Yeah, she basically, um, so like uh, just imagine the, if, if your eyes ran on batteries, um, there's, a, there's a certain amount of energy stores for her. This is what the, the therapist is, is come to the conclusion of is <clears throat> when she wakes up and she's fresh and her body's rejuvenated she does really good um, there's there's actually some well there was some days till you realize it was just causing you more problems but there were days that she would wake up and not wear glasses or anything she's like hey I'm doing really good I'm gonna fight through this and then by like one two o'clock she's done her eyes just give up on her so and another level of that is um, when when uh, if she gets up before daylight and she, her eyes are kind of adjusted to the dark uh, and then it goes to light that transition period and then the vice versa in the afternoons after her eyes are totally given out um, when it starts going from light and, and dusk into dark and the sun starts going down she absolutely her eyes are wrecked and um, um, we had a little scare she just started driving again under you know we have to be careful of when she drives and where she drives how far she drives even riding in the car strains her eyes it's the, the movement um, which is why a lot of you know we, we're not flying folk. I fly all the time for work, but that's why we flew to the mountains rather than drove to the mountains is because uh, I wanted to make sure that she could enjoy that because it was just that uh, that road trips are, are rough on her. But that's that's the idea The her eyes uh, looking at that lit screen, that backlit screen, it just kills her. Like it's, a, it's an immediate, it just wrecks her eyes. So so that's the that's the cause of it. Um, even watching TV, I, re I noticed that she she'll get up and walk away from the TV from times when we're watching TV together but you know um, it is what it is but it's getting better it's better than it was it is it's a lot better than what it was but I didn't want any um, I guess the reason for me saying all that is um, I wanted to let everybody know because I've had some questions about if I was going to go back to work if I was going to do nursing again um, my heart will always be there uh, I've had many, many patients check on me and uh, do things for me, and I appreciate all you guys so much, but um, I wanted to put that out there that no, I'll no longer be doing nursing, and that's really hard to, to say, but at the same time, I feel like it's what's needed at this time, at this point in my life. Yeah. And we've uh, we talked to the surgeon the other day because there just there is a lot of limitations on what she can do, and um, so we're starting to look into disability and seeing what that road looks like. Um, we don't have really have much of a choice to be honest. Um, I mean, call it what you will, either either sign up on disability or call it an early retirement. Um, you know, but. I fought it for a long time, and the surgeon yeah. kind of told me that I didn't need to fight it anymore, so I just yeah. needed to do it. Yeah, in the beginning, she was stubborn, and she was fighting hard, and, and she was like, I'm going to fix this, and I'm going to heal, and I'm going to get better. Yeah, if and, you know uh, me, that's no surprise. Yeah. <clears throat> and, um, but you've, you've, you have come a long way. I have. I've come a long way. Um, I would just say this. Let's just reflect on that for just a minute for you in the moment but for them too um a year ago 
I was having to put you in a shower chair so you could take a shower and shower it's you. true all that happened about a year ago my yeah. birthday actually is this month and if I remember correctly I wasn't alive for my anniversary and I was in, in and out on yeah. my birthday so. yeah, we spent like a month in the ICU after yeah your surgery, and on a so ventilator that. and um mm -hmm. it's hard to remember some of that but I do have some of the memories of the ventilator and different stuff coming back to me um terrible memories but yeah I do remember all that so I have come pretty far yep you have and the fact that you're even able to drive at the moment um that's yeah even though it's it's limited and, and very specific you know don't we get the and wrong just idea so I don't scare anybody I see single when I drive <laughs> and if I feel like my eyes saying okay we're done for the day I, I pull over and somebody else drives or I'll pull over yeah. and just um call somebody or whatever I've got to do I, I don't continue driving obviously if I'm seeing double just yeah. throwing that out there for whoever so if you see if you see her back home visiting the girls and uh, it's probably all, only going to be in daylight hours um, if you see her behind the wheel it's going to be daylight hours only um, I try not to I try not to let her drive too much um, <laughs> when I'm when I'm able to be with her now um, it, it has it has brought a lot of relief that you're able to drive in like you're able to go to HEB and grab stuff while I'm at work because because I've got the I've had to start going back uh, work has been great they have pretty much just kind of <clears throat> let me be autonomous in where I decide to work and when I decide to work there um, even though I travel a lot I still have an office in downtown and I'm supposed to be there certain days of the week um, and I'm they haven't told me to do that yet but I know that day is coming very soon so I've been trying to make sure our lives are in kind of in that space to, to where I can and, and it's it's gotten there it's really good um, I'm, I'm more comfortable especially after the craniotomy and I, f I feel like you're more protected uh, at first I was scared to death because there was nothing protecting you in the back me of your too. brain uh, in the back of your head um, but yeah so we're getting a year later um, we are back to um, this level of normal and um, I'm, I'm it's not always great but I'm so thankful for it um, a year ago it was horrible horrible on you and, and just it's horrible on you yeah <laughs> I'm okay I got this I got you but um anything else you want to add about just you emotionally personally no I think that's it and like I said it was just kind of um, informative really to let y'all know that I wasn't going to be nursing it wasn't um, me asking for like a, a pity party or anything <laughs> as no. y'all know me well enough to know that's not what I'm about but it was just um, informative to let everyone know of where I stand um, with that so I know co-workers and patients and um, just friends in general just people wanted to know so we figured we haven't done an update video in a long time, so we and wanted to a, update everybody on everything. Really. This is a long one, and we're about 23 minutes in, so yeah. we'll try to wrap it up in the next five minutes. And if y'all have any questions, please feel free to ask us, or um, if you have any advice or opinion, anything, yeah. it, it's fine. You can reach out to us. I ask me anything, ask him anything. It doesn't matter. Um, because we're probably forgetting yeah. to say some stuff. So I, I, I'll, I'll tell you one that's burning on us because we know nothing about it. And um, we Googled it and it's not clear, but the disability thing, if any of you have. Yeah, um, I, I have know, no idea. I know some of you have dealt with it. If you have any tips or like what, what's the uh, what's the right way to go about it? Um, the doctor's already he already said he'll he'll write the letter when the, when the time comes and he's insisted on it, essentially. So... Um, so we're gonna do it eventually. Just uh, we just, <laughs> just haven't done it yet. Keep kicking the can down the road. Um, it's a, it's a hard thing for, her and I don't want to push it. It um, is a hard thing, but I think it's a needed thing. And I've helped patients do it, but I've never initiated it before, so I, I don't know what I'm doing. I really yeah. don't. Um, but I think it's something that needs to to take place, unfortunately. So. Um. Anyway, any advice uh, for that would be great because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and just keep praying praying for Mandy um, and her emotional state and um, it's 
I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot for her. I, I, a lot of my earlier update videos, I'm sure you guys just receive because I just, if I'm upset, I'm upset. But, um, but let me be clear that like she's having a really hard time, and she's she's had a lot of spiritual growth, uh, emotional growth through this whole process um, that she may not like talking about, but but she's had a lot of growth through it um, that I can't even fathom to be honest because I'm not I'm not wearing no shoes and I'm not I, I watch it and I sit on this side of the of the mirror, but um, but I just know that she has a hard time and um, I try to be there for. Her. I'm not perfect, um, but I try to be there for her and, and help, but just pray that, um, just pray for us, pray for her mainly, that um, for that state, because um, her age and all of this and the nerve damage and just uh, hormones in general, her disease is like, it, it, she can't you know as she gets older and starts dealing with the the, um, the hormonal issues she can't take treatments and she can't do things that other women can do she almost just has to deal with it so pray for that um, that's um, fascinating so uh, yeah um, all right so let's flip that around so those of you who I just want to say thank you if it wasn't clear um, in the past I don't want anybody to ever think that we are unthankful for anything no, all of you thankful. all of you who uh, I'll, I'll start at one level and work up so <laughs> all right a little camera malfunction um so I was gonna say some thank yous to folks so in the beginning uh, when we first come home we were reminded that or I was reminded of this at least recently we had some friends that we uh, friends at our church um, just had a baby and I know we were doing a meal train and stuff and then some other friends that we have um just helping them out but you know you guys that uh that, that sent us food and and messages and just everything just anything and everything every uh, none of it is forgotten we know who you are we see you um you know i'm not one to just like you know call people's names out i don't want i don't want people knowing your business uh the bible says to give in secret and and you'll be uh you'll be uh rewarded in secret um and you know who you are but it was all appreciated yeah yeah very much so and and you will never know how much it's all appreciated yes because those times were those times were really hard and um honestly i was so um i was so entwined of trying to make sure that the medication was given and we were it was such a roller coaster of, of life those first few months because um, it was just like one problem after the next it's like you um, like whack-a-mole it felt like whack-a-mole to me to be honest it was like whack you hit one and another one pops up and it's like every time you get one down there's another one and I did that to, believe it or not I just thought of that but that's exactly how that's life how felt it, yeah. for months um, and, and now things are a little slower right it, things still pop up um, the nerve thing that's been going on a minute but but uh, you know, they seem to it moved yeah it's, it's 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 been a weird uh it's been a weird journey with that but all that you guys who have messaged us given us words of encouragement um through facebook messenger you know who you are we've talked to you um uh just pr the 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 never-ending prayers um you guys that are reaching out to him so praying for you and um you guys that just check in like hey, how's things going how's amanda doing like we love you, thank you for that. Um, and then those of you who have, who have, uh, I, I hate to see them in, as as big and small things, but there were some, there are some of you who have, who have really come through um, un, unprovoked at all from Arian, and you really came through in a big way and in ways that we didn't even know we needed or that would help us and and take stress off of the situation. Um, and you know who you are, and for that. Um, we are just so grateful, um, so so grateful, and um, I just want you to know that that it's it's you you are seen, and I know God sees you, and and we see you, and uh, we are so so thankful. So um, I am very glad to be um, somewhat past some of this stuff. It it feels good to say that we're a year after, and 
and it feels good to say that we've had some wins um you know and obviously what we've talked about it's it's not perfect uh, it's not um you know I've, I've had some of you ask you know um or, or let me just say it like this i've had some conversations that were basically uh the way i perceived them was you know hey is mandy back to normal yet um and this whole video is just to say no and she never will be um there's a new normal and there's a new mandy um and i will say that from uh after 21 years of marriage um she's a different person today than she was prior to a year ago um and that's okay and that's okay for me i've got her that's all that matters um she is different and her, her personality is slightly different um a lot different in some ways um my little my little busy bee here we, we go to the grocery store now she's talking to everybody everybody <laughs> everywhere uh where before she was just like get in get out and get my stuff and go um uh, and she would talk to you if she knew you or, or you you stopped her to talk to her and, um you guys all know that she's got a heart as big as big as the world you just have to tap into it and talk to her but um yeah she's uh she's opened up a little different and i think she sees the world through a, a new set of eyes um no pun intended um so <laughs> but it's good it's a good way and uh, I, I love her and i know you love her too and we just wanted to reach out uh so we need to, to wrap this video up um so uh let's see we gave a little bit of backstory if there are any of you watching this that are that have just met us maybe and you're just curious reach out to me i'll give you the shortened version i've got a, a month's worth of videos on youtube um, where I was sending out updates to everybody, um, but I don't worry about. Just ask me. And I'll you give don't you, have to go through all the videos. <laughs> I'll give you the abridged version uh, 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 through a message or whatever. Um, but yeah, just ask, and I'll I'll fill you in. That there's a there's a story to be told, and um, we're, we we feel God impressing on our hearts. Um, um, Mandy, a lot. So she feels God impressing on her heart that um to share this story because there's uh there's there's some spiritual things that have gone on in her Absolutely. as well um through this entire thing and uh, and our entire family i feel like uh, me as well um so what we want to do is uh we just want to share that story and that that story of of, uh, of god's grace and his sovereignty and um you know even even what we see is you know the sky is falling and the world's melting down around us um you know there was some good that came of it um and uh you know, it, it's it's a big kind of good, and there's a story to tell there. So I don't want to try to tell it here. So, so we'll package that up um, and and share that out um, in a in a in a well <laughs> a well thought out way because um, we just want to give God the glory of, uh, of everything that He's done. And we and we like I said, we thank God for all of you. And um, <clears throat> not always my dog. Um, anything else to add, babe? No. Just wanted to say I love you all and thank you all. I'm going to go um, deal with my high demanding dog. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much. And, um, yeah, if you got any questions, just reach out to me and uh, I'll do my best to answer uh, what I know. Thank you for everything so much. I don't know how else to say it or if I'll ever be able to repay you or, or thank you enough. But uh, God knows and I know God will. Thank you.